All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy, Chris, and uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody's having a great, 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 great. Did I say great? I mean great Friday, man. Why is this open? All right, I'm going through. All right. <clears throat> Had to run and handle some stuff for the for the truck. Um, but listen, man, I'm going to talk. I'm going to say something in this video, and it ain't, it ain't meant to be. Um, I'm not just saying it to say it. Um... <clears throat> I, if, I'm not just saying it because it's cool to get attention. I really mean this from the bottom of my heart as a Cowboys fan. Um, and 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 I'm gonna keep it real. The Dallas Cowboys should trade either C.D. Lamb or Michael Parsons or both. Uh oh, Chris talking out man. Chris talking out his man. What? Boy? What you talking about? What about why? Why, Chris? You do not have enough talent on this team to compete, bro. You don't. It is what it is. You can say it how you want to say it. You can bake it up, wrap it. They don't have enough team, enough talent on this team to compete, and we keep lying to ourselves. So I go back to cause right now we live through history. We go, dang, man. What was the when, when the Cowboys were smart, what was the, the 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 changing point for them? The Herschel Walker trade. They they levied that into what is known as the triplets, into what helped build that dynasty that they are still trying to live off of in the 90s. Yeah. You're going to need another one of them kind of moves. You're going to need one of the moves that literally ain't nobody gonna agree with, but it's necessary. I'm a CD Lamb fan. I'm a fan of CD. He's my favorite cop. Overshawn, Overshawn, my favorite. He been to, even with the leg injury, I was just like, dang man. I hate so Overshawn, CD Lamb, are like my two favorites right now. I like BB. Um, but when I seen CD Lamb out there playing and giving it 110 percent, when his shoulder was falling off. And he was bad, but he wanted to compete. That fire, that drive, like that's my guy. That's my guy right there. Take me, yeah, I take him. I take him, and it, I, cause I saw it. I saw him playing in pain. I saw him, and it, and it was so bad. They just kept throwing him the ball, and the man's shoulder about to fall off. You know what I'm saying? The pain he played through, it wasn't no crying about it. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm see these my guy. Now I see he ain't my fan. He ain't the, sometimes the, the 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 antics and the other stuff is whatever. It's whatever. But remember, hold up now. They said that by my, by Dez Bryant till we got the audio, and then we'll just pump people up. But I digress. We'll talk about it. I digress. But CD Lamb overshone. But Micah, and I hate to see CD Lamb, but Micah, I, 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 Micah's a talent. I don't want to see him leave either. Uh, he's my favorite on the team. I'm, I ain't not going to lie about that. But if that's what it takes, if you could get rid of them guys, and you can go get your. But see, this is the thing. This this all saying, you know, the Cowboys will do the right thing. The Cowboys will go out there and get the right players. The Cowboys will draft well. The Cowboys will make the moves that's needed. But just say they would. Say they would. All right? You can take a CD Lamb and, and, and you can get two first rounds, three first round picks, and a player. Or Michael Parson, three first round picks. And a player, high draft. You go talk to the Giants. They know to do dumb shit. You go talk to the Giants. Say, hey, we'll give you Michael Parsons. Give you your first, give you your, uh, two first round picks. And uh, throw in, I don't know, a cornerback or something. You know what I'm saying? You need, you're going to have to, what can, I mean, this is cool. It's cool. Because one, one thing I'm starting to learn now is people is okay lying to themselves. But the, the results is not going to lie. Like, I, I, if I hear one more person saying the Cowboy defense is coming along, really? Really? Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but the reason why I'm saying this is because we got to go out and, and to build this team to get what, what you, you have no depth. If you lose one player, it's over. You lose, you lose a rookie and it's over. We don't have, we don't have the depth. Don't let... <laughs> They better sell that. Boy, if y'all try to sell me Rico Dotto out the... 
what 100 yard game if we sell y'all tell me on Rico Dado? Come on, man. It's time to stop lying, man. It's time to be honest with ourselves. <clears throat> I'm gonna create a uh a, 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 a series of Chris asked the GM of the Dallas Cowboys, and I'll tell you how I would run this thing. Because it's just you you it's like when you go, and y'all know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm ex-military, so I, I use a lot of military analogies. I do apologize, but I can speak from experience of what I've done. When you go to the military, the first thing you go through is boot camp. The first thing they do is they they go at you the minute you get off that bus. They get off the, get off the bus. Get your, put your face in the bag. Don't look up. You looking at me, soldier? Look down. Look down, private. All that. Now... And and in the in the time you're like, what are you talking me like that? They taught me. I got to. I got to break you down. I gotta break you down to build you back up. I gotta get all that little street stuff in you out of you. I gotta get all of that little nonsense stuff out of you. Cause I gotta get you prepared for war. I gotta get you prepared for war. And right now, you thinking like the way you think ain't gonna get you to win on the battlefield. Same, same thing. With this, I gotta break this thing down. We got, we got. It's some infestation of just ugh in there. It's some softness in there that just all ingrained in there. It's all up in there. You gotta get that out. You gotta get that out. I don't think the Marcus Lawrence can stay. He gotta go. Even what the excuse he made after the Packers, he gotta go, dog. He gotta go. Um, hey, yo, Michael, love what you're doing outside, but bro, I need you focus. We need to focus on, on the on, on the task at hand. And that's building this thing if you're gonna be here. But I suggest trading him. Just because not because I think Michael's a bad player. Not because I think he's bad players. But we need one of them moves. We need one of those swing for the fences moves. And you know what they do though? That also put everybody else on alert. Hey, we're not playing. Hey, we're not playing. I'm not playing with you. We you either gonna get it together or get it going. We're about winning. But until you get the hook out of there, until you blow something up, until you get somebody's attention, okay, it's going to always be okay. Good enough is always going to be good enough. We're going to always be good enough. That's what it is. So, I mean, look, I know a lot of people are going to say, Chris, you, lose, you, you lost your mind. You just saying stuff. I really, really, really believe this. Because guess what? I've been through it in my personal life. I've been through it and I jumped off that bus. And, and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm in a... I'm in a child hall. I'm in, I, I'm in a child hall with a plate that I don't know what this is. Why am I just getting this? Why are you yelling? I ain't even saying that. And at the time, I didn't understand. I'm mad. Hey, I come from the hood. Hey, hey, hey bro. We finna do all this now. And then you just get to the point where it's like, then it come bigger than you. It's about the team. It's about the team. I remember, I remember we had a, a soldier that just could not pass. He was a scrawny little kid. Just could not pass his PT test. So, because our unit was a unit, every day after we got done with PT, when we got done with training, we went and helped him because, hey, you part of this team and you're going to win too. And we ain't leaving you. You feel that? You feel that energy? That's what the Cowboys need. That's what they need, man. And I think you got you to gotta do something drastic. But then again, hey, you know what? You Dallas Cowboys, man. Let's hype it up. <laughs> got got tickets that got money. Number one value franchise, right? I guess that matters. With that being said, God, please let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. But I, I'm standing on. I'm standing on what I said, man. I think we got to get rid of CD Lamb or Micah. Blow this thing up because those are your two highest. Um, your two. Um, I'm parking by. I'm in my neighborhood. Okay? You don't think you there? I'm in my neighborhood about to park. Um, in case you don't. Uh, I think those are two high, highest value players, man. So, anyway, that's my thought process. You guys let me know what you think. Um, And, yeah. With that being said, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Till next time, man. You guys be great.